it's Colleen Rebel Stitcher. As always, I'm joined by my handsome sidekick, Albus. Um, I got back from StitchCon 2022, uh, I guess last week, and spent some time with family and recuperated from all the fun. And so this video is going to be a recap of all the fun and what I've been stitching on since the last video. So I'm actually going to insert a little photo montage from StitchCon um, right here and then we will get back to the yapping. Thanks. absolutely terrible taking pictures because I was in the moment I was just enjoying um, stitch con I didn't take pictures of the brag table I didn't take pictures of um, uh, the small smalls exchanges I did if you did see there were two pictures in there one with me and my smalls recipient and me with the um, uh, person who I got their small from. So uh, I did do that at least. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you got a sense of what StitchCon was like a little bit. Um, but there's lots of people who were doing um, StitchCon recaps. So they probably will have more cohesive um, videos than me. But um, if you're here for cohesive and uh, orderly floss tubes, you're probably at the wrong channel. Anyway, thank you everyone. I've picked up a lot of new subscribers lately since the last video. I really appreciate it. I feel like, um, first of all, I need to just say thank you so much for the tremendous love and support and positive feedback um, from the charts that I released. Uh, I they made their debut at StitchCon. Barb was wonderful and generous and supportive and encouraging. Gave me a trunk show at StitchCon where I had needle, needle minders, stickers, and uh, the three charts that I've designed so far. It was so much fun seeing people uh, stitching your work. That was a 
crazy experience, um, kind of surreal and gives you the warm fuzzies. This, um, I, I, I just, there are no words. Um, people wanted me to take pictures with them and sign their charts and that's just mind blowing to me. So thank you everybody and everybody that came up to me. Hopefully I wasn't too awkward. <coughs> I didn't um, make an outline or write anything down prior to this floss tube. I just have two big buckets full of stuff. And I figure I'll just pull it out and talk about it, which means I am sure I'm going to leave some critical information out or some buddy that I met or somebody that gave me something. And um, if I do, I'm terrible, I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can with my scattered brain. But there was just so much going on at StitchCon. Um, it was unbelievable and everybody's gonna say it and it needs to be said a million times. Thank you to Barbara and Stephanie and the entire Keepsake staff and volunteers that helped put on that amazing event. And if you've never been to StitchCon and you're nervous because it's a big group, I'm telling you, I'm an introvert. I, you just, it works. It's just magic. You go in there and there's just a bunch of people who have, you already have something in common and you find, I mean, you just find your people, you know, like it might be people that, you know, have swear mouths or there might be people that love samplers or there might be people that stitch animals with clothes. Whatever it is, you will find your people. There's somebody there for everybody. <coughs> and, um, okay, so here is my, I just, I put all of my StitchCon goodies in one of my shop mailers that I take to the post office. And so I'm just gonna dive in and um, talk about what I pull out. So the first item, so my friend Susie, who I talk about all the time, came with me to StitchCon. She lives in Michigan. She flew from Michigan to Philly. I picked her up at the Philly airport and we hit the road for Ohio. Um, that is an amazing friend that would do that. I mean, she's an amazing friend for a zillion reasons. But she wanted to keep me company because it's about an eight and a half hour drive from Philly to um, Cincinnati where StitchCon is held. And so it, we had a little road trip and it helped break up the monotony. It's not a hard drive because it's all highway, not a lot of turns, but it's very monotonous. So it was really nice to have um, company of my buddy there. So she had given me, when we got there, my birthday present. My birthday was in May. Remember, she's my birthday buddy. She's a day away from mine. And look at what she gave me. She gave it to me because Jan Calvert, the um, at Finish a Stitch is her Instagram handle, and she is one of the talented finishers at Keepsakes. Um, finish this for Susie. Look at this. Now this is an out of print chart, but Susie has a stash. Look at the back. Amazing. Susie has a stash that is um, to die for. So this couldn't be more me. I love it. Um, the woman, I think her name is Tara sitting at the table behind us from um, True Crime and Stitching Floss to her and LaDonna. I think it's Tara. If not, I apologize. She probably doesn't watch this anyway. Um, she, she kept teasing that she was going to steal this out of my bag at the table. So I left it in the hotel room the second day because I didn't trust her. Look at that. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. So thank you publicly, Susie. It's amazing. I'm gonna leave this up in my office so I can look at it all year and then I'll put it out for general consumption during Halloween. So <coughs> that was an amazing birthday present. And then, let's see. Oh, this was pre-StitchCon haul. Um, and there's one more, but I already started using it. Um, Bags Plus, I wanted to get some of those um, again, I apologize. There is zero format to this. So, um, I wanted to get some of these, this little, the holders for bobbins. I thought it would, might help me be more, um, organized and stop losing so much floss. So this has a little thingy here. You can put your scissors or whatever, extra floss or whatever you need in there. There's another one I'm using already. And then I got this one with the cute gnomes. 
And this one opens up and is like a bigger, holds more, and then it has a little zipper pouch here. So these are Bags Plus makes these. Um, she is on Etsy. I don't like to buy anything on Etsy if I can avoid it, so I just messaged her directly and she was happy to send me a PayPal invoice. So um, those are awesome and thank you. Okay, next. Uh, let's see. Oh, my friend Candy, the 614 Stitcher, made me this amazing little table mat. So a lot of people have these little placements kind of at their table at StitchCon. <coughs> it's not like somebody's gonna steal your seat or anything like that, but it just kind of defines your space. It makes you look, feel special. Green's my favorite color. So, and then she put like this kind of dish towel background and it gives it a little, it doesn't slide around and it gives it a little more oomph. Um, I love this. Thank you, Candy. I used it. And it also helps, like, if you're up and wandering around the table, I mean, the tables, you know, visiting, you could be like, oh, on that table, whatever, where the green mat is, you know, because sometimes people want to leave little goodies for you. So thank you, Candy. Candy's amazing. You should watch her um, floss tube, the 614 stitcher. She's um, somebody that I met through Keepsakes and I'm thankful for it. Okay, let's see. Oh, Justine from X's and Hose made this amazing um, floss drop. Now she was kind of, she made a few of these for her like buddies that were gonna be at Keepsakes and she made this one for me and they kind of all, she kind of made things that she, I think thought the recipient would like. So this is green and this gorgeous stone. I love it. I put it right away on one of my favorite scissors and um, I just love it. Thank you, Justine. Her and her sister Jackie are X's and Hose on floss tube, and they are an absolute riot. We got to spend a lot of time with them, and I, you never stop laughing with the two of them. They're just amazing. Okay. Nancy and Jenny, or maybe this is, and Nancy gave it to me, so I'll give her the full credit brought me this. It says, you are, you and I are more than friends. We're more like a really small gang. So I asked her if we had gang signs we had to throw up or anything. And inside this little pouch was some really sweet stuff. Nancy made me another scissor holder. I have to, um, I have to, I don't have another scissor. I have to, um, find a scissor to put this on. But I love this. Again, favorite color green, in case you haven't uh, picked up on that. And inside also are their floss drops and a BS needle minder, standing for bougie stitchers, but um, to me it's BS. I love it. Thank you, Nancy and Jenny. Got to meet them in real life. Um, Nancy and I text a lot, kind of, you know, Instagram message. So it was really nice to meet um, her face to face. She has a Boston Terrier named Mater that I just love. So we send silly dog videos back and forth. Um, but again, that's a great thing about StitchCon is people that you kind of have this like remote friendship with and you get to meet them in real life and you're like, oh yeah, you really are awesome. This is fun. Okay. Okay. So then Athena from Stitching Goddess Designs was handing out these fun little tote bags. Um, again, the freebies and stuff at StitchCon, just insane. Um, Jan Calvert, um, again, handed out this fun little book with these little grids if you wanted to uh, chart anything down. I'm just pulling stuff out of here. Oh, Mini Gray. Gave this fun reflective sticker and her card. I have a thing of DMC in here. I'm not sure where it came from. Somebody probably gave it out. And then there was a couple who was handing out these sweet wooden, I mean, they're thick too, heavy wooden things for finishing, a couple different shapes and just let you pick. They said they found them, pro tip, they said they found them in that weird aisle in Aldi's down the middle that has like random stuff. And um, they bought a bunch of them. They bought their Aldi's out and shared the shared the goodies. 
Um, so, and I'm such a horrible person. It didn't have a card attached and I can't remember their name, but thank you. I will definitely put a finish on there. And this really sweet elephant needle minder. Um, it says, good luck elephant. And again, it doesn't have a name. But how sweet is that? And again, I'm sorry if you gave me something and I don't have your name. Like, if, if you're watching this and you're like, hey, that was me, comment so I know. Um, I'm just a horrible human with brain damage from all my strokes, so I'm gonna play that card. <laughs> um, when we got to StitchCon and checked in, we got this amazing uh, tote bag. It's really, really nice quality. And I've got more goodies in there. Let's see, what is this? Oh, this is the card, Ashley Day. She's who did my StitchCon small that I received. Let's see. Tea Time, Tea. The Black Needle Society. Um, Laura and Katie were there and they were giving out these sweet little uh, boxes. There was a woman there who turned 50. It was her 50th birthday while she was there. Carla, they cracked out a K and they were giving out these fun little needle boxes. And there's all kinds of goodies in here. There's floss and needle minders and stuff. In our um, StitchCon bag, we also got this pack of stickers. It just kind of has um, Stephanie's idea all over it, although it might be Susan that made them. Um, but it's a picture of the shop, 310, the shop cat, the stitchy bus. There's the infamous keepsake sign that everybody gets their picture taken with. So these were really fun little mementos that um, everybody got when they checked in. Sanctum Stitching was there, got to meet them and they gave out these fun little needle books. Stitching in Southwest Virginia. Oh, Alexis, My Amazing World, she gave out um, these fun floss drops with a little cartoon of her and her wife, Kia. And she also gave out a really cool needle minder that I have on one of my projects. So when I pull that out, I'll show it to you. Um, human, I'm a human, I'll take that needle minder. Let's see. Oh, Zan gave this out, a Forbidden Fiber Company and a bunch of other little goodies in here. So thank you. I had, you know, I don't, I had an absolute ton of floss drops. That was like the thing to exchange this year apparently. And I gave m most of them to my friend Susie um, because she stitches with um, floss drops and I don't. So I did keep a couple of them. So this is this little girl is Steph and this little girl is Pam. So I thought that was so cute. I did keep some of them. Um, Criminally Creative Susan. Um, I helped her make those needle minders. Let's see, what else do we have? This is Ozark Mountain Stitcher pretty floss drop and needle minder. Let's see, this is Julie Dixon. And Ryan from Wild Violet was there. She actually sat at our table for a while and she gave out these pretty floss drops and there was a QR code for a free pattern. And I think that's everything in this bag. I told you, this is just like stream of consciousness episode. I apologize, but um, that's kind of what StitchCon is like. It's just one thing to the next. Okay. Um, how about some haul? Or, wait, I have more, more stitchy kindness. My friend Liz 
um, The Wandering Stitcher on Instagram gave me this mug, Yoda Best, and I put it on my little, at my seat at StitchCon. I love it. <coughs> and I was putting all my goodies in there. Someone had give this little, um, either scissor fob or zipper pull or the little jewelry for your floss. Look at how cool this needle minder is. It's the floss tube um, or YouTube logo. It's a little vintage TV. It doesn't have her name, but this is like the coolest one. Definitely wins the, the needle minder game for me. And then my friend, Tony Stichinski, gave me this sweet, adorable little package. I just love Tony. She's a Keeps Peeps. Um, I know her through um, Keepsakes. And she gave me some of the coolest stuff. Look at this. It's a little Bigfoot charm that I can either make into like scissor fobs or use in finishing these big foot charms so stinking cool and then as if that wasn't cool enough bigfoot band-aids <laughs> i don't think they're big enough for bigfoot's boo-boos though and then bigfoot playing cards so how cool is that um i just love it and i love that they're in like nice metal tins too so um after you use the band-aids up i can keep the tins so thank you, Tony Stichinski. Um, love it. Thank you so much. Let's see. I'm almost done with stitchy kindness. Hold on. As soon as I walked into StitchCon, this really sweet woman gave me this, and I am like blanking on your name. So if you gave me this and you're watching, please comment so I know. Um, it was like I just put my stuff down and she popped over and this is the coolest thing ever. It says Sasquatch Country and it's a magnet. So like it sticks on so that this comes out like the magnet is on the big foot part. I just freaking love this. This is like the coolest thing ever. I'm going to hang this up in my office so it makes me happy or I might put it on the fridge in our kitchen. I'm not sure. Um, so thank you. And I want to like put a name to that awesome thing. I can picture your face, but I cannot picture your name. So like, please help me remember. Oh, Holly Freeman from Stitchy Pros. She always gives out these fun um, Disney things. And I got a Hulk fist. You got, she gives you a whole bit bin and lets you pick. Um, let's see, Jody from Trixie Tricycle made these little, th um, she stitched all of these little pockets and it, they have these little cards and like project cards and you can hook it on your, um, there's a little lobster claw and a little charm and you stick them on your project bag and you can write all the details of your project so you don't have to open them up. I got to meet, spend a bit of time and get to know her. Really fun. Her and Laura, um, duet from Brennan the Serial Starter were, um, roomies together and they didn't have a car. And um, so I got, we went out to dinner a couple times. Uh, Laura and Jody and my friend Susie, who I was rooming with, and I, the four of us, we went out to dinner a couple times throughout the weekend. And it was really nice to kind of get to know them. Laura and I text back and forth and we'd never met in person. And it was just, oh my God. She's just as amazing as you think. Just sweet and silly and smart. And she's like a savant with charts. If you mention any chart or designer, she'd be like, oh, that's blah, blah, blah. Very impressive. Oh, Stitchy Friends. I have their uh, project cards. They were there. It was nice to see them again. They, I saw them in Pittsburgh for Steel City Stitchers retreats. And... Um, I think that's most of my stitchy kindness. I'm going to jump into haul that what I actually purchased and um, show you what I've been stitching on. This is a long video for me, but it's a StitchCon recap. So, you know. Okay. In the annex, 
So the annex is a, just adjacent to the big stitching room. Barbara sets it up full of trunk shows. The stuff that's in the annex is not necessarily at keepsakes and vice versa. So if you see something there, typically, you know, you need to buy it. There is shop, no shortage of shopping options at um, StitchCon. You have the annex, you have, and you have um, Keepsakes itself, which is the local needleworks shop that puts this whole event on. And they have the Stitchy Bus, which is an old vintage school bus that um, Barbara and her husband, Joe, purchased and restored. And they drive the Stitchy Bus, well not Barbara, but Joe and another gentleman, drive the Stitchy Bus back and forth between the convention center to Keepsakes and the different local hotels back and forth to the convention center. It's so much fun. I wanted to go on the Stitchy Bus last year, but I was still local at the time, so I felt kind of stupid taking a space on the stitchy bus, <laughs> excuse me. And so I didn't do it. So this year I was like, I'm going on that stitchy bus. Even I had a car, I drove there, but it's just a fun experience. And you feel like a kid, you know, on the bumpy bus, school bus on a field trip or something. So anyway, whatever, that's all that to say. As I bought this in the annex, this is from Wild Violet. Um, I love this chart but now I don't have to stitch it. <laughs> and um, she had a lot of these. They're just little notions or small project bag kind of thingies, super fun. And Ryan from uh, Wild Violet was there, I said before, and she's just super cool. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry. Bear with me, I'm reaching down in my bin here. I'm getting towards the bottom. I'm just taking everything out at once. Okay, what else did I buy at the Annex? I bought this chart, the sampler, by uh, works by ABC, reproduced this. This is a reproduction of a sampler by a young African-American girl from the New York African Free School, April 1820, Rosanna Dissery. This has been uh, a chart that I've been wanting to pick up, but I'd only seen it as a PDF and I prefer hard copies. So I was really excited to see this in the annex. They had, um, they had the model. I mean, they have tons of models at the annex. Almost every chart you see, there, there's a model for it. And there's a big um, piece of histor you know, historical information about the girl that stitched this. So that was really cool. Um, the fabric choices at StitchCon Annex were just uh, amazing. And I'm super duper excited about this. Uh, Fortnite had fabric there. And this is 20 Count Ada. Whenever I have found 20 Count Ada, it's been um, either like white or oatmeal. It hasn't been fun, pretty over dyed colors. So I was super excited to scoop this up. Um, I can't wait to try stitching on this. I'll be able to just use one strand and um, it's like I'll be a 40 count stitcher, but on Ada. So, but I haven't done it yet. So we'll have to see if I like it, but I'm actually thinking this chart on this fabric, I have to pull the floss. But I think this could be really cool. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear, you know, see. I still have to pull the floss. The, the baskets down here might get lost, but I can always tweak the colors. Um, you okay there, babe? Some weird face licking action going on. Okay, so I bought that. I bought this at Keepsakes. This Bent Creek Trick or Treat Smell My Feet. I have had my eye on this forever. Every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, I love that. It's so cute. So I finally bought it this time. Let's see. And then I bought this fiber on a whim, 18 count wheat is the color. So how pretty is that? Um, I have never stitched on fiber on a whim fabric. It's really soft. It feels a lot like picture this plus Ada, 
So I'm excited and this is like a perfect neutral. So I, I bought a um, fat half of this. And then, let's see. Oh, I also bought, this is 16 count Fortnite fabric. You okay there, son? Watch out, baby. Mind blowing. This is, I bought, let's see, a fat half of this. This is 16 count Fortnite. Love it. I mainly just bought fabric. I think that's everything that I bought at the Annex or Keepsakes. But the day prior to when Keepsakes started, we drove, it's about two hours north of Cincinnati uh, Craft Gallery. You've probably heard of them. They're a great little needlework shop and they do custom framing. It's where Pam and Steph get their frames done. And we, they weren't technically open that day, but our friends, um, Memphis Sarah E, she had brought a bunch of, or mailed a bunch of stuff for them to get framed. And so they were opening for her to go pick up her stuff. So a whole bunch of, like a group of our friends, we all drove up there. So it was like me and Susie, Justine and Jackie were in my car. Zan and Sarah were in her car. Um, <clears throat> Ranger Val and Rebecca came in their car and we all just, converged and shopped. I don't think I'm forgetting anybody. I think that was everyone. Anyway, so it was really fun and Carl, uh, Carlton and Paula opened the shop for us and their staff was super helpful. Oh, but the I can't remember the other lady that works there. She was telling me all about um, the this new linen they had gotten and I was like, oh, that's nice when I'm an Ada stitcher. And she, this is, this is what Ada people have to deal with. She goes, oh, well, good for you. <laughs> like, I'm like, you know, mentally uh, challenged uh, adult or something who's stitching, which I am, but she doesn't know that. It's not because I stitch on Ada. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I just had to share that backhanded Ada compliment. So anyway, I did buy a couple things there. I bought, they have these like remnant kind of packs, and this is um, 16 count pewter. I think it's picture this plus. So I grabbed that. Um, this is up from craft gallery. And then let's see what else. Oh, I did buy this chart. It's a Prairie school or Halloweenies. I don't know how I didn't have this. It's not cardstock. It's a reprint, but still it's got some great charts, uh, little smalls on there. And, um, I love this cat that looks like he's pooping. Um, so add to my Prairie Schooler Halloween stash and that's everything I purchased. I have a couple things I got on the freebie table and a couple things I've purchased since keepsakes. So in addition to the brag table, they have a freebie table at StitchCon, <coughs> excuse me, where people bring charts that they're done with and not just charts, charts, floss, fabric. Uh, project bags, all kinds of stuff, and people dig through. I um, found this Quaker Virtues. I don't know that I'd stitch the whole thing, but I love me a Quaker, and the motifs might be really nice for like a smalls exchange or something. So that was a fun find. And then uh, By the Bay Needle Art New England Winter. I found that on the freebie table. I just like that old vintage winter feel. And then I found this on the freebie table. I will never stitch this, but because I can't look at that face for so long, but it just cracked me up. I was like, I have to give this a home. And then as I come back, I find out at the table, Justine from X's and Hose left it there. And then the other thing I did with the freebie table, I think Athena mentioned it in her video is as I was going through the freebie table, now there's some good gems in there, but you have to pick through because there's a lot of like very dated stuff also. And it might fit some people's jam, you know? And so I would pick the ugliest, most dated tacky um, <coughs> charts that I could find. I took like a stack of them. 
and I would go up to people and I'd be like, oh, I found this on the freebie table and I thought of you and I would hand it to them and they would see their face and it'd be like teddy bears with balloons or something that's totally not them. And then they would just start laughing. So I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of crap back next year because of that. But um, it was really fun to do. So like Carla and Chris, oh, at my table, I don't know if I mentioned, it was Carla Rolodex. Jody and Kristen from Steel City Stitchers and my friend Susie, Flossitude Susie. And then we had an extra table, I mean, extra seat that people would rotate through. Like uh, Wild Violet sat there sometimes. You know, just friends would just kind of occupy that seat and rotate. And it was really kind of fun to have that extra seat. Um, but so, yeah, that was something I did from the freebie table just to bust chops and get a reaction out of everybody. And it was really fun. Um, I think I'm going to do that again next year. Okay, so that is everything I purchased while on my um, stitchy uh, road trip of all road trips. Um, I am just going to go through. Uh, this is the bag I brought to StitchCon um, that I'm just going to pull them and show you what I stitched on. So you can actually see some stitching on this floss too. Let's see. Housed in a Jasmine Raven, no, Jasmine Custom Bags project bag. I did a little bit of stitching on this, not a ton. This is the chart by Teresa Kogut, Silla Witches Quaker. I brought this because it's monochromatic and I thought it would be an easy stitch but i don't know so i finished this owl so actually i didn't do so bad i did the owl um and and the little leaves around them this is the needle minder i was handing out at stitch con that says albus fan club so i did work on this this is on a bestitch me let's see if i have my little card here 16 Count Pumpkin Pie by Be Stitch Me. It's the black is Gentle Arts, Witching Hour, and the green is a uh, silk from Be Stitch Me called um, Clover. And there is a stitch along for this chart. It's hashtag Silo Witches uh, Sal. And I will put that in the little drop down thing if you want, if you have this chart and you want to join along. It's a really fun stitch. Um, it's Halloween, it's Quaker. You know, what more could you ask for? It like checks all my boxes. Okay, <sighs> excuse me. That's one thing I stitched on. In another bag by Jasmine Custom Bags. This was my birthday buddy, Sal. Henrietta by Trace of uh, Stacy Nash Primitives. See, I took her off the Q-snap. Hold on. <coughs> Un momento, por favor. Oh, I folded it and then I dropped it. So this is what I've gotten, how far I've gotten on Henrietta. I've Got her whole head and chest done. I'm working down her wings and her dress. It's all the called for colors except her dress. I swapped out a cottage garden thread green. Um, let's see if I can remember what that was. I don't know. It's in here somewhere. Oregano. It's oregano, if anybody wants to know. But she's adorable. Susie and I stitch uh, Stacy Nash Primitives every year for our birthday. We have a year to get it done. And then it will go to Miss Jan to make as a stand-up. Last year we did P-Roy the Slug and he's just stinking cute. Okay, what? Oh, this was, I took this off of the Q-Snap. I needed the Q-Snap. Modern Folk Embroidery. This is their pride chart. 
and this is what I got done on here. This is all the called for DMCs except this green I swapped out. Um, I want to say it's 703, but I'm not sure. If you want to know, um, just hit me up and I will look it up for you. This is one of my needle minders and this is as far as I've gotten on this. Um, there is a Sal MFE uh, for Modern Folk Embroidery, hashtag MFE Pride Sal. Um, a lot of people are stitching this. This is on, I think, Sterling. My picture this plus, it's a little bluer than it's showing up. It's showing up a little grayer. Every time I photograph it, it comes up a little grayer. But this is beautiful. There is a charity attached to this. Um, the sale of the charts for this. And I just had to give it a rest because all that, the center part, all that solid stitching, I just get like fatigued doing that. I don't know. I don't have ADD, but sometimes I feel like I do when I'm stitching because I bounce around so much. So that was something else I stitched on. I have a ton of stuff I've been stitching. Oh, I made some good progress on this one. I think I posted it on Instagram before I put it away. Halloween Quaker by Leela Studio. Love this chart. This has been an ongoing project for a while of mine. I have, I'm stitching this on Murky. Um, by Pictures Plus, my favorite fabric, and let's see, I did this bird and this flower, and I'm starting this motif with the cats. So, and I don't know, since the last time I showed you, I might, I don't remember, the Happy Halloween down there where the witch's head is, I finished that too, but I don't remember if I showed that on my last floss too. So... This flower is, the spacing is off, like the flower itself is right, but it's too close to the bird. So I might end up having to rip that all out. So that's why I moved down to here so I can see what's going on. No. I'm not one of those people who are like, it has to be perfect where the chart says it is. As long as it makes sense and it works, I'll leave it. I'm the queen of fudging things, but I just gotta make sure it doesn't read too smushed in relation to the other things that it's around. So that flower may or may not stay there. But I love this chart, I love the stitching, and I made good progress. I would like to get it done before Halloween, but I don't know that that's gonna happen. I can pretty much assuredly say it won't because I have Halloween charts I'm working that I've designed that I'm working on, and um, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Let's see, what's the next thing? Oh, okay. So we get to the hotel room and my friend Susie says, I have a present for you from uh, Genevieve of Jasmine Bags. And I was like, what? Like, I didn't understand. She'd already sent me a birthday present. Like, what is she doing, this crazy lady? So she made, she found this fabric of these lady birds, these birds in these dresses. And she made this project bag for me. <coughs> and I'm like, why am I getting a present? And we FaceTimed with, um, with Jen. And she made this to commemorate my first like big chart coming out and the motif of the little bird on the Women of Honor sampler. She thought that this was the perfect because I love animals and clothes. So, um, it was just so sweet and I appreciate it so much. And there's the back. I love it. And she even fussy cut some more of the green bird would show. So thank you, Jen. You're amazing. You spoil me. I can't even. Oh, so something else I bought when I was up at Craft Gallery, I bought this Teresa Kogut chart, the snowman. I have a thing for snowmen with legs. So I'm just stitching him and I'm gonna have Jan finish him as a stand-up. I've got um, like the witchy poo, I think it's called for Teresa Kogut, stitched as a stand-up. And I put, him, put her up on the mantle for Halloween. So I'll put him up for uh, Christmas when I ever finish it. 
But anyway, so I bought that and this was my StitchCon start. I also bought, let's see, you know, all the fluff. I didn't do the called for, I kind of picked my own. But there he is, there's a snowman hat and a face. It was so funny because I, at Stitch Card, I was just doing this hat and you know, it's solid, so it takes a while. And it just looked like this ugly, weird rectangle. So I was happy when I got the brim and it started to look like something. Oh, this needle minder. Alexis from My Amazing World made this. She used like fabric scrap and like kind of made like a little tomato-y um, pumpkin-y thing. And I just love it. It's so creative and so sweet. So that was my StitchCon start. I made a good amount of progress on, on my um, snowman. But again, big blocks of color. So I have to like break it up or I just get too bored. And that's everything I stitched on while I was at um, either before StitchCon when I came home, except I do have one new start and I want everybody to pay attention to this designer. Um, Shaded Stitchery on Instagram. Go follow her. She's a new designer. Um, she just has a couple charts out. This is a new chart that just came out for Juneteenth. Super exciting. I saw this and couldn't hit add to cart fast enough. Um, not only do I want to support new designers, I love, you know, different voices in the cross stitch community. This is housed in the perfect project bag for this. This is um, <coughs> African fabric project bag that I got from my friend Lynn Dorney of Lynn X Stitches Creates. Absolutely gorgeous. I was so happy that I could put it to good use. And this is my start. I started here in the waves and now I'm working up. There's a couple more rows of this border. This is as far as the first page goes. I'm stitching this on, I think 16 count, was it Fawn? No, Wren by Fixture This Plus. This is my uh, Juneteenth needle minder from the last quarterly club. And um, yeah, Shaded Stitchery, go follow her. There's a Sal, a bunch of us are stitching this. I know Deb from Stitches of Heritage, Candy, 614 Stitcher, Alexis, My Amazing World. I think there's a bunch more. I don't. No, if we came up, settled on a Sal name, but let's just do hashtag Juneteenth Sal. That works. Hashtag Juneteenth Sal and follow along. And go give this new designer, uh, I think her name is Nuri from Shaded Stitchery, some love. And um, so she feels welcomed and all the good stuff in the stitchy world. And she also, when you sign up, she has some freebies. And this is a freebie. We can all do so much more together than apart. This Opal Lee quote. Um, this is one of her freebies that are on the thing. So that's um, another reason to go follow her on Instagram. <coughs> Shop news. I just sent out um, last night uh, invoices for the Cottage Garden Thread by Monthly Club. It's, I got notification that our um, order is in customs in LA, so I should have it soon. Um, almost everybody paid like instantly, it was pretty amazing. So if you didn't check your inbox, you should have it. If you didn't get your invoice and you think you're in the club, reach out to me because chances are I'm dyslexic and I also have fat fingers. So I probably made a typo in the invoice um, email address. So just reach out to me. But as soon as I get though that order, I will be packaging them up and shipping them out as soon as possible. And um, other than that, oh, my Instagram for the business is Rebel Stitcher Designs. And I'm getting close to 2,000 um, followers on there. So if you haven't um, followed it, follow it because there's shop, up and you're interested, there's shop updates and all that stuff. But when I get to 2,000, I'm gonna do a really fun um, giveaway on that site so um you know spread the word so we could i can do a fun giveaway um i think that's it this is probably one of the longest videos i've ever done it's completely just stream of consciousness as i'm pulling out of a bin and i um 
applaud those of you who stuck along for the ride um, because, you know, it is what it is. Thank you um, for watching, subscribing, liking, all the good stuff. If you haven't, please um, consider doing so. And I got to say, I love StitchCon, but I miss this little man. And it was nice to come home to him and my wonderful family, but especially this little man. Because nobody gives him love when I'm gone. They're like, I would check on the, I'd text Nicole and they're like, how are the kids? And I'd get an update and I'd be like, how about Albus? She's like, he's alive. That's all I'm promising. So, oh, he's so sleepy. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, I promise next episode or next video will be more orderly. Thanks again for following along. Bye.